Cyberfrog 3 is live right now on Indiegogo. Link in the description below. Whew, goodness gracious, this is a tough one. This is really tough because you know what it does? It makes me think that um, all of the comics that I read and enjoyed as a kid when I was really into comics were stupid uh, and uh, kind of gross. I feel like icky having just read any... Well, you know what? I feel gross reading anything that Eric Larson does post, you know, early 1990s. He's really become a strange man. Uh, witnessing his collapsing mind palace uh, is disturbing. And you get to see it happen uh, in a comic book that nobody else really reads. I think every month, I think he still puts out Savage Dragon or, you know, whatever, a Savage Dragon comic book monthly. And good for him, I guess, but nobody's asking him to. Like, you can stop if you want to, Eric. It's fine. Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. Uh, I'm Ethan Van Skyver, 30-year veteran of the comic book industry. I mean, an enormous comic book fan, I think, but maybe I'm not. I, you know, when I read this, I just go, do I, do I still love comics? I, I, fortunately, I have a bunch of long boxes over here of comics that are indisputably great. And when I feel, when I read this, when I read the efforts of uh, someone like Eric Larson, and I feel kind of scummy, and I, I need to take a, I feel like I need to take a shower. I do. I go over there and I take a shower. But also, uh, I'll pull out uh, a John Byrne Fantastic Four, or actually a John Byrne anything. You know, you just read uh, his work. And you see what Eric Larson is trying to do and failing. Uh, and then you just realize it's not comics' fault. It's Eric Larson's fault. It's not... I mean, there there still are good comic books out there. It's just that this isn't one of them. Uh, this is North Force. I guess it came out a couple of years ago. Uh, when I went to the comic book store the other day, I just bought a stack of comics indiscriminately. I just wanted to read everything, like things that I normally would never buy. I thought I would just pick them up and read them to do review videos give them a fair shake, and, and who knows? Uh, this seems to be a, a one-shot, a zero issue. I hope it was a freebie. I, I mean, I, I can't imagine somebody... I, I, it wasn't. It was... Four, I can't believe anybody would pay $4 for this. I mean, you could buy half a sandwich for $4, and uh, unless it was at Arby's, you wouldn't feel as sick as I felt uh, having just finished this. North Force... What if Savage Dragon joined Alpha Flight, essentially? That's the that's the gag here. Uh, Eric Larson's not really creating new things with Savage Dragon. He's putting his character uh, through awful um, parodies, satire, tributes, homages of um, uh, comic books, other, other people's comic books. And he's, you know, look, I mean... <sighs> All right. <clears throat> I would call uh, what Eric Larson is doing uh, in 2023 as, like his art style, as um, I describe it as an economy of uh, effort. You know, it's like, why try? Like, let's save our energy for other things, uh, like attacking Trump on Twitter. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I Like, if I drew this, if I drew this, I'd throw it away. But if I drew it, like, it definitely wouldn't be a splash page. Uh, on um, page one of my new comic book, a zero issue introducing North Force. But again, this this doesn't matter. The comic book itself lets you know that none of this matters. It's just meant to kind of be fun. Um, and also, again, I, I'll say this: like Eric, please try. Like I, I understand you want to kind of like leave behind a legacy of having done. Uh, a thousand or so issues of your own comic book and and that is impressive but not when it's this you know, if it's a thousand issues of this like all right, don't do it i right, here we have a <clears throat> savage dragon coming into a, a pool hall with <laughs> a diverse array of weirdos this is a trans man here this is a, a biological woman oh eric uh, who is uh, pretending to be a man. All right, so, Eric, oh, all right. And they're all, they're North Force, and they all have annoying dialogue that they all say. Each one of them says a line in tandem. They're not having a conversation. They're just, they're just saying things. Uh, all right. So, and when you read it, it is super annoying. And once again, uh, here is uh, Savage Dragon. This is, I guess, not the Savage Dragon that I grew up with. This is like the son of Savage Dragon. Uh, he's meeting all of the people. Oh, 
God, oh, it's so annoying. That face annoys me. But this is what's really unfortunate right here. You've got uh, Eric Larson's idea of a non-binary or trans man. This is a biological woman who is... Uh, oh, look. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, Eric... Oh, this is a hideous specter. Eric, you have a pen. Like, this is not... this. People could say, yeah, but it's... Look, Eric has a pen, and he could draw this any way that he wants to. If you wanted to do diversity and you wanted to have a trans male, a woman to man, if you wanted to have kind of, um, if you wanted to do a character who was non-binary, you could do anything you wanted to. You wouldn't have to draw some hideous Jack Kirby's puppet master character here. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have to do that. You could do whatever you wanted. Like, Eric is choosing to do this. Like, Eric, oh, Eric is, cho he's choosing to draw that. That's what he's choosing to, to say, I guess. It's unfortunate and weird. Uh, so all of these people... Okay, here we go. You guys going to help me out here or what? My name is Connie Chen. They didn't ask what your name was. My name is Connie Chen. And when I put on my armored flight suit, I go by the name Blue Jay. Ugh. <sighs> My name, my name is Mackenzie Gomez, and when I'm armored up, I'm called the Knight. I am Nina Redcloud, and when I turn into my bear form, I am called Grizzly. Francois Rousseau, uh, I am a Jet when I'm in my armor. No, I am called Jet when I'm in my armor, I'm sorry. My name is Chao Zing Huang, I turn into a Raptor. Uh, I'm Daniel Davis, and I become the Flame. I'm Michael Strongheart, also known as the Canadian. I mean, it just makes me wonder if, like, I ever really... Do I ever really like this? I kind of understand what Eric's doing here, but uh, I, I find it really annoying. we got a lot of talking heads here of hideous people. These are the. This is our hideous team. Uh, they're all talking. If you want to read Eric's dialogue, you can. If you want to read more of his dialogue of... Uh, Savage Dragon asking them questions and their profiles all looking straight ahead at him and answering. Uh, you can do that. You're welcome to. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh. Anyway. Uh, oh, no. By the way, you can draw a black man any way that you want to. You don't have to do this. This is what I want to say. You're the guy with the pen. You're the guy with the imagination. You can draw a black male any way you want to you're choosing to do this this isn't a photograph see this mouth here you're choosing to do that you're choosing to caricature black people in that way that is your choice could have gone any way you got the trans man yelling at him here oh aliens are attacking all right here we go let's roll let's save some lives uh, uh over here is uh, again this is a uh, savage dragon's child bride uh, this is his wife here, who we've seen in, uh, I hate to say, some um, triple X-rated scenarios uh, in this comic. Uh, there, I, there was a scene in which they were having marital relations, and Savage Dragon, um, he completed the act, and he completed the act so hard, okay, if you know what I mean, that like, like a fire hose... Uh, he blew his wife off of him, off of his body, until she landed upside down with his uh, dripping into her own mouth. That, that was in this that was in this series. This is a superhero comic by Eric Larson. Here she is, looking like she's uh, very, very young, but she's an Asian woman. Uh, I guess she has to go pee-pee. I don't really know. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why she's doing that. And she says, don't go into space, whatever you do. Oh, you understand? Like, I'm not kidding when I talk about how gross these comics are. I'm not kidding. Like, they really are. Uh, by the way, here's the knight. Here's the trans male, all dressed up, ready for action. Here's our team of heroes. Uh, obviously, um, the Native American leader of the team is just a ripoff of the Guardian from Alpha Flight. I mean, the costume is almost exactly the same. John Burns, uh, the Guardian, really nice design. Uh, there is a sloppy battle. That takes place here, a sloppily drawn war uh, that goes on for many pages. Uh, it is uh, 
uh, nothing. I mean, there's not much to really look at. And then a guy from the 1940s shows up. It's kind of clever. He says, hoot and zoots, and he fires a blaster. And as you can see, he's kind of like a C.C. Beck uh, style of superhero, kind of Flash Gordon meets Captain Marvel, meets Mr. Terrific. Uh, and... Uh, they go, oh, we got to go into space, and Savage Dragon, of course, can't go into space, so that's the end of the... Can't do it. All right, you don't get to join the team. I mean, count your blessings, really. You're going to walk away from these clowns. Forced diversity. Here we go. We got uh, pages uh, that tell you who all of these characters are, uh, if you want to. Oh, boy, I really I don't like the way Eric draws lately. I used to really like it. You know, I don't... I really don't, oh, I really don't, let me find out about the night here, what a night that would be, can you imagine, uh, Mackenzie Mac Gomez, North Force, height 5'9", 160 pounds, um, alright, the night wears armor with a voice altering feature which effectively conceals her gender, her, oh, Eric, her gender, uh, married, Known relative, Sharon Sykes' wife. Uh, the night was augmented, blah, blah, blah. Mackenzie Mac Gomez was a police detective when she discovered the night armor uh, among the effects of her older brother, a slain crime lord. Uh, I don't know. Who cares? Anyway. <sighs> it's just... I mean, why? Like, why? You don't have to... Oh! Ugh! Oh! You don't have to do this, guys. You don't have to make comics. You know, it's not It's not really... Is it really an achievement to do hundreds of issues of this in a row? I mean, is it... I guess it would be an achievement to uh, to actually read them. Uh, I don't know. This is, uh, this is trash. This is absolute trash uh, on so many levels. And it was exhausting to read in the sense that it was just puerile and... Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I just don't know. I gotta get back to doing Cyberfrog. Cyberfrog makes me happy. This makes me depressed. It makes me uh, wonder. It makes me wonder about everything. Existential crisis from reading uh, this one single comic. Thanks for watching this, by the way. Uh, let me know what you think about North Force and Eric Larson in the comments below. Did you read this comic? Am I wrong? Is it awesome? <laughs> Subscribe to this channel, and also please check out my comics. Cyberfrog is actually fun. It's good. Uh, it isn't going to make you sick like this. Uh, and I actually do spend more than five seconds on each page, as you well know. Uh, that's an important thing about making a comic book, is to show that uh, some effort went into it. Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, I will see you again soon with uh, another, uh, another, another video. Bye-bye. <laughs>